Welcome to the United States Strategic Command Commander's Situation Room. This room is an extension of the Global Operations Center. It is a prototype for future situation rooms, supported and funded by the Office of the Secretary of Defense, using the latest technologies and concepts, and will serve as a model for other unified commands in the quest for network-centric operations. You are about to see a demonstration of the capabilities that this room delivers to the senior decision makers in STRATCOM. You will notice that a touchscreen control panel is at the commander's fingertips, located at the head of the table on the right side tabaret. This control panel allows the commander to control the physical characteristics of the room, including lighting, displays, and sound. The control panel is designed to resemble a heads-up display and gives the commander the ability to control the environment of the room with a few self-evident touches of the screen. The knowledge wall at the foot of the table is a 6x2 matrix of display cubes that can display information from the Global Operations Center as well as from sources within the Situation Room. The alignment of displays is flexible and reconfigurable to meet the commander's needs. A display source can be shown across any portion of the wall or across the entire wall. Defense Information Systems Network Video Services Global or DVSG video teleconferences and Joint Worldwide Intelligence Communication Systems or JWICS video teleconferences can be displayed directly on the knowledge wall. The specialized JWICS Executive Video Suite or JEVS video teleconference must use the 60-inch plasma that is housed in the table. There are two cameras for the VTCs. The camera in the center of the table is used for the JEVS system and the other camera rises from the table beside the plasma housing. The knowledge wall and the communication links available for use are designed to provide the commander with the best possible situational awareness so that decisions can be made concerning potential courses of action for strategic forces around the globe. Our intelligence watch teams monitor strategic indicators around the world and receive indications and warnings of potential aggressive actions against ourselves and our allies. The information they are currently displaying is consistent with the Secretary's threat alert from earlier today and is constantly being monitored Sir, we've just picked up a missile launch in the Pacific. Our systems made the detection and have confirmed that this is a real-world event. We will continue to track and keep you up to date. We are standing by for a missile event conference. In the event of a missile launch, our Defense Support Program satellites would detect the missile during its boost phase. Consisting of a set of satellites in geosynchronous orbit, they are capable of sensing the heat signature of a missile launch. The launch is indicated on the screen with a red dot as the point of origin. We regularly get launch indications because these satellites are capable of detecting the launch of the space shuttle, a communications satellite from anywhere, or a test missile launch from anywhere in the world. The red dot indicates that a launch has occurred from somewhere in the Pacific. The red lines crossing the North American landmass are called threat fans. Based on satellite information, we are able to derive a rough azimuth or direction of the missile's flight path. As soon as the missile launch is detected, a conference is convened to provide command centers with updated information regarding the missile launch. After the missile event conference, the threat fans are analyzed. Depending on the threat fans, actions are directed for the survivability of our forces. We have a series of seven aircraft postures that can be directed which will protect our aircraft. The senior controller can direct the forces all the way up to and including posture two, which will ensure that our command and control aircraft are airborne and our alert bombers are at the hold line. The commander, if he desires, can direct a survival launch or posture one. As the missiles approach North America, our radar systems will eventually detect and track the incoming missiles. As the radars continue to receive updated information, 
they will continue to refine their solutions and provide more accurate information regarding the attack, such as the number of incoming missiles and warheads, and precise information regarding the areas being targeted. This information continues to be shared through the conference and is critical for decision makers. The successful accomplishment of our global missile defense mission is possible through coordination between our global operations center, NORTHCOM, and other combatant commanders in the employment of systems designed against ballistic missiles. These systems are tied together in a comprehensive system that forms a global operational capability to defend the United States and its allies from ballistic missile threats. The Commander Situation Room offers the commander complete command and control of the Global Operations Center for the execution of its missions. The commander's abilities stem from the available use of a variety of systems that provide command, control communications, computers, intelligence, surveillance, and reconnaissance. The Global Strike Mission enables the response to threats around the world in a timely fashion. Response to threats includes close integration of the various combatant commanders and could employ a wide variety of weapon systems to meet the threat. The Space Operations Mission includes a worldwide network designed to detect, identify, and track man-made space objects. U.S. STRATCOM exercises control of space forces for things such as navigation, communications, weather reports, warning, and intelligence. The Global Operations Center coordinates and directs defense of the global information grid through its Information Operations Mission to ensure that information flow is not affected by any accidental or intentional actions. Technology continues to improve and systems evolve with capabilities that continually reduce the time involved in the decision-making process. The Commander's Situation Room is the culmination of the greatest command and control technology in the world, globally focused on coordination, integration, and synchronization with combatant commands, task forces, and command centers. We'll continue to incorporate new technologies as they come available as we strive toward effects-based operations, machine-to-machine -machine interface, and network centricity to globally control strategic forces.